Welcome back. It's now time for Midday Sports. 20 championships in Lima, Peru, when they contest the respective women's and men's 100-meter finals this afternoon. Olympian and national junior record holder Reed will run from lane 6 in the women's 100-meter final and will start as favorite for gold. Reed, who has a personal best of 10.94 seconds, also has the best time in the lineup this season with 11.09 seconds. She won her semifinal on Tuesday in 11.44 seconds, the third fastest of the three races. On the men's side, Daly and Card could find it difficult to get on the podium as they will face a strong test from the South African pair of Bradley and Conan and Bayanda Walaza, as well as Puripala Bonson of Thailand. Daly will run from lane 5 after winning his semifinal on Tuesday in 10.34 seconds. Card will start from lane 9 after taking the second of two non-automatic qualifying spots on Tuesday following his third place finish in his semifinal in 10.39 seconds. The women's and men's 100 meter finals are set for 6.30 and 6.47 p.m. respectively. West Indies captain Rothman Paul says the team is once again in a transitional period as they build towards the next T20 World Cup in 2026. The Windies completed a 3-0 series sweep over South Africa on Tuesday in an 8-wicket win at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy in Trinidad. Batting first, South Africa were restricted to 108 for 4 after the game was reduced to 13 overs per side due to rain. Tristan Stubbs top scored with 40 not out against a player of the game, Romario Shepard, who had 2 for 14. Set a revised 116 to win, the Caribbean men got a victory at 116 for 2, thanks to Shea Hope's 42 not out, 35 from Nicholas Peran, and an unbeaten 31 from Shimran Hetmeyer. This was a seventh victory for the West Indies over South Africa in their last eight T20 internationals, with the only defeat coming in a virtual quarterfinal contest at the T20 World Cup in June, with three straight series wins over the Proteas in their last three and five series victories in their last six. Six overall, Powell believes the team is starting to show consistency. Um, I think when you look at us as a batting group, you know, we batted well right throughout the series. You know, and also as a bowling group, when we were put on the pressure in that second game, the way the bowlers would fly was fantastic. Yeah, it feels good, you know, it's, it's always good to be a quality opponent like South Africa and actually beat them, you know. Gone are the days when we used to be the team getting whitewashed, you know, so it's a pleasing feeling now that we are the one handing out such treatment. The next international assignment for the Windies will be against England, who will travel to the Caribbean for three one-day internationals and five T20s in October-November. And finally, coach of Bon Pleasant FC, Theodore Whitmore, believes there is a lot of work to be done to get the team to where he wants it to be ahead of the start of the new Jamaica Premier League season. Whitmore, who made a sensational return to the St. Anne Club three months after his contract was not renewed, won the team's first point at the CONCACAF level as they defeated Arnett Gardens 2-1 in their second group game of the Caribbean Club Championship on Tuesday night at Sabina Park. Goals from summer signing Jashon Anglin and substitute Kimoni Bailey gave Give Mount Pleasant the win. Whitmore has only been with the team a week after Harold Thomas and his staff was sacked a day after their 2-0 defeat to Cavalier in their opening match last Tuesday. Believes there is more to come from his players. Yes, I think it was a, um, a, a positive result. Um, not familiar. We, we didn't spend enough time together, you know, so they don't understand what we want or what we expected from them. Again, you, you notice um, with a little belief this afternoon we could have, you know, scored one or two more goals. But um, again, congrats to the boy. I'm very pleased with the performance. Bernardo Brown reporting for TVJ Sports. And that's it for your midday sports report. And that's it for the midday news. I'm Karian Simpson. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, good afternoon.